In this week's video, I take some time to head to the Southern Adirondacks for some fall and waterfall photography. I have no set agenda but to get outside, enjoy some fresh air, and spend some time doing some photography. It's supposed to be sunny and warm, but anyone who's been to the Adirondack Mountains knows that they have their own weather patterns, so we're just going to have to see how it goes. Let's go! Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm up early this morning, uh, heading up to the Southern Adirondacks. Um, I haven't really been out much during the summer um, or even early fall just due to work and family commitments, but um, finally able to get out and spend a good portion of the day in the Southern Adirondacks. It's, uh, it was a beautiful morning um, driving out but it uh, looks like we've got some cloud cover, so I'm not sure what the light's going to be like today. But uh, we'll, we'll take a little ride up to a few waterfall areas and cascades and um, hopefully get some good uh, photographs in today. I'm on my way to my first destination, which is Jimmy Creek Falls. This is just off the road and an easy location to get to. As I was heading to the turnout to where the trailhead is located, which is just on the opposite side of the road, I noticed that there was a pickup truck in the turnout parking lot. This site is too small for multiple people, so I had to rethink my plan. So I'll come back to this spot later in the day. Let's head over to Auger Falls which is only about five minutes away. Here we are at the parking lot and all right, no one is here, which means I can get to my location, set up and record a video with you and hopefully capture a great image to bring back. So let's just back in here. Looks like I'm heading to option number three. I'm sure there won't be anybody at this location, so I should be able to set up and record my video while enjoying some peace and solitude, and hopefully come away with a great image.
So I think I found the composition that uh, I want to capture here. Of course, it just started raining. Um, but uh, I like the green mosses and this paper birch. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a yellow birch, silver, or white birch, but um, I like the contrast of the birch with the boulder across the stream. And I don't think that the log that's going across is going to take away from the composition at all. Uh, I'm hoping that it helps to frame the stream as it flows down in between the tree and the, the boulder. So we'll, uh, we'll get the camera out and we'll take a shot. And if it comes out any good, I'll post it here. So what I'm framing up here is I wanted to make sure that I got this boulder and this tree to help balance the composition. But I also like the, um, the rock with the leaves here. So in order to get that in frame and in focus, I'm shooting at 20, about 24 millimeters. That rock with the leaves is about five feet away. And then I want everything all the way through to infinity to be in focus. What I am going to do is I'm going to rotate my polarizer because I don't like all of this glare here. I want a little bit of it, but I don't want that much. So I'm just gonna rotate the filter until we get about there where we can start seeing the rock that's underneath and then I'll also do a longer exposure so right now I'm shooting at one second so I should get a nice uh, milky effect from the stream as it's coming down and then we'll also enhance some of the green mosses due to the fact that I've got the polarizer on there as well I'm gonna pull back just a little bit so we can get this tree here in focus. But I think that's the composition, so we'll go ahead and take our shot. So one of the things that I noticed when I took the shot is I don't like this twig here. So I'm gonna help nature a little bit and I'm gonna remove that twig. So, as you hear most photographers say, always make sure to check your margins or the edges of your photograph because you'll get distracting elements like that. So I didn't notice it the first time, but um, I had a branch over in this general area here, as well as that twig. So we'll go ahead and take the shot again, and hopefully we've eliminated all the distractions. able to get down to um, the lower falls couldn't find the trail it was a lot easier to find in the winter time but uh, this time of year it's a little harder to actually find it's not really a marked trail to get you down to the lower end of the falls 
and of course this time of the year I always try to be very careful especially since I'm hiking by myself to not uh, take chances especially on the higher sections of the waterfalls because there's a lot of moisture that rises from the falls and we had some rain a little bit of rain this morning the leaves have pretty much fallen and they're, they're laying on top of the rocks so it tends to make for a very slippery situation so um, decided to head back to the vehicle and take a drive over to Jimmy Creek Falls um, and unfortunately can't get in there because we're also in the midst of hunting season so um, I have a feeling that a lot of the vehicles that are parked in these turnouts um, along the road are uh, out actually hunting. So I did get some photos from Austin Falls this morning. Uh, not anything off the river directly, but there were some uh, a couple of streams. Um, one that I liked in particular and uh, just gives me another reason to go back. So um, I guess that's it for today's video. Uh, if you like today's video, please um, consider subscribing if you enjoy watching um, outdoor photography, um, adventure type photography. I do a lot of canoeing, uh, a lot of camping in the Adirondacks, uh, a lot of hiking in the Adirondacks uh, with my family always willing to share my knowledge of photography with you so if that's something that interests you uh, please consider uh, hitting that that bell to get notifications for future uh, videos and I'd be interested to hear your comments on the um, the moss photo so if if you feel that that branch that was leaning over the stream is distracting I'd like to hear your comments as to why um, and, and if you feel like I do that it just helps to lead your eye through the photograph along you know with the stream flowing right underneath it um, and almost framed it uh, you know leave a comment on that as well so always interested in hearing what everybody's got to say all right with that thanks and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video